What's going on everybody? Jada Black here back with another video. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about a very interesting situation. <clears throat> you have an NBA player who goes by the name of DeJounte Murray. He basically is calling out his ex-girlfriend for being a gold digger, okay? And he's been a pro for about two years. He was drafted in the first round in 2016 by the San Antonio Spurs, late in the first round. And he was dating this IG model slash YouTuber, Jill Anias, okay? Or Jilly, if she goes by Jilly. And he put up a post on, I believe this is IG Stories. And he had gold diggers with the throwing out the trash emoji, okay? Now, I want y'all to understand something, man. The dude is um, out basically right now with the ACL. He can't, he's not even playing, okay? But I guess he had time to think. And because he had time to think, he realized he was in a relationship that was just not good for him. You know what I'm saying? He just felt like he needed to move on. Now, she responded by saying, thank you, next. It says, note to self, when the Lord gives you a sign, stop ignoring the MF. -er. A nigga will call you a gold digger, but has never paid a single bill and doesn't pay my rent, car note, bill, uh, phone bill, the list goes on and on. Gold digger where? Miss me with that BS. Then she goes on to say, she responded to somebody that said, that, that's, uh, that said girl, you are, you are most definitely not one. You have always had your own. That's probably from a fan that don't even know her. And she says, just pure ignorance. I hate that I have to even entertain such stupidity. But when a little boy wants to speak falsely of my character, that's another story. And I've had people speak falsely on my character and I've had to basically obliterate them. But that's another subject for another day. <laughs> um... And she also posted a photo, I guess, of her house. Now, she's a YouTuber, um, but I think she's also delving into the music industry. I think that's a failed venture. Um, just because you're attractive does not mean you're going to have a very solid music career. And some of these females just don't understand that. You know, you may be attractive as a female, nice body, but that doesn't mean you're going to make it. Not everybody can be uh, what her name is, Queen Naja. Everybody wants to follow her blueprint now. You know, I think she's been doing music for a couple months or so. Maybe a little longer than that. But anyway, you know, she has a really big channel. As a matter of fact, um, she was so in love with this guy that they actually started a YouTube page together. You know, which probably showed that he had a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> Forget having a season to start for. Let's just make YouTube videos. You know, I will say that the, the videos are maybe about three, four months old. They just start the channel. But, you know, he's had an ACL since October. But still, you know, where's your focus? But anyway, I just think that when you look at the dynamics of the, of the relationship, she could have chosen to date anybody. But she chose to date an NBA player who was basically fresh out of college. He only been out. Of, he only been in the NBA for a year. You know, and what people got to understand is that when you have females like her who do YouTube and have a big Instagram following or whatnot, social media following, uh, they try to date guys who have a so who have a higher social status. Not always, but because she wants to get into the music industry, of course, she's going to use his his clout to get there i know some of y'all are not going to agree with that but you gotta look at again the dynamics of this relationship he's calling her a gold digger so obviously she did something to make him say that because you just don't hear recently i have not heard a lot of athletes and i've seen a lot of athletes break up with ig models and this that and such they never really called them gold diggers never this is one of the first times i've seen that now again she's probably making her own money she has a big youtube uh, page she has a, a big social media following i'm pretty sure she you know uh is sponsored by a few brands but that doesn't mean she's not out there spending it as quick as she's getting it you know what i'm saying so 
I'm pretty sure that he would know if she was a gold digger. And I don't know if he broke up with her or she broke up with him, but looking at all the posts she's posting, it looks like a relationship where he might have been fed up. Again, you know, he's sitting at home, you know, he's um, rehabbing and he's having time to really be around her more and say, you know, I, I, I don't like this chick like that. You know, she she wants too much attention and we done started this YouTube page together and I don't I hate it, you know. And he's and he's probably seeing it not so much as like gold digger as in gold digger for money. He's probably seeing it as gold digger for his fame. You know, she's probably asking him for connections. She's asking him to, you know, uh, help contacting other athletes who have connections in the industry. I'm pretty sure she has done that because she doesn't have those contacts unless those people are contacting her. But, you know, she's the one trying to push the music career. So when he's talking about gold digger, maybe that was the wrong choice of words. You know, when I look at her posts and I don't think she posts very much on her page. Um, she's posting a lot about, she's posting music videos and things of that nature. Let me tell y'all something. If you are an attractive woman, it's not gonna be very hard for you to, to build a following as far as YouTube, if you want a YouTube page. All you have to do is be attractive, you know, show off your sexuality. You're gonna grow extremely fast. And the majority of your fans are gonna be women. Other women who, you know, may like you um, as far as your looks and they may wanna emulate your looks, you know, cause we all, we all know women like to copy each other. But um, looking at the fact that she doesn't post much on her page, lets me know that maybe, you know, YouTube is not what's financially benefiting her because I've seen big YouTubers, they post at least once a week. You know, she hasn't posted in what, a month or so, two months, and she's posting music videos. So maybe she has had her hands in his pocket a little bit more, you know, maybe to set up, uh, you know, um, you know, interviews or, you know, help her with studio or music videos. Again, we don't know, but I'm going off of what he's saying. I don't think this dude is just making this up. He was with her for a year. Now, again, she could have broken up with him and he could be salty. But I see it as a young guy learning the hard way that when, even though she's attractive and she may be doing her own thing, this, you know, she's with you for a reason. It ain't love. It's because, you know, she can benefit from you. Because she could have dated anybody she wanted to. She could have dated a regular guy. You know what I'm saying? But she chose to date him because he's an NBA player. And I bet you he DM'd her. She looked on his page, saw that he was, you know, playing for the San Antonio Spurs. And she immediately contacted him back. Because that's what goes on. You know? So that's why you're seeing a lot of these young athletes hook up with these particular type of females. Because as soon as these females know of these guys and what they do, okay, then they're more interested, you know, they're more intrigued. And that's why I, I say what I say about these guys, man. Like, when you are a young player, you have to be extremely careful of dealing in relationships with females like this, you know what I'm saying? Who wants the spotlight, who wants a secondary career, you know, outside of um, what she's doing on YouTube or, or what she's doing on social media. Because, you know, another scenario could be that maybe he found out that she was in relationships with other athletes. Because I'm telling you right now, I don't think he's the only athlete she's been around. You know, I think she's probably dated other athletes just on the low. But because, you know, he probably was way into her more than she was probably comfortable with. He was willing to do a YouTube channel with her. That's how into her he was, that he was willing to do a YouTube channel with her. This is a guy who who sat, who's make, he has like a million dollar salary. He's doing that to make her happy. So maybe 
she left that relationship and he's salty. You know, maybe she got with a guy who has more than him. I'm telling you right now, these guys, all these guys talk, okay? When you're out, when you're an IG model and you're out there dating these athletes and rappers, these dudes talk to each other. They communicate. And I'm pretty sure he found out something. That's why he put that post up. Because this breakup must have been recent because they've had videos together as recently as of a month ago. So this must have been a new thing. She must have broken up with him and gotten with somebody who has more money than him or maybe is even high, more high profile. And his way of calling her a gold digger is his way of basically subliminally saying, you know, this girl is out here chasing bags. She wants somebody to help fund her career. You know, she wants to be uh, another, she wants to be another basketball wife. And, and that's the situation that could have come from this. You know what I'm saying? But I know people are going to look at this and say, well, Jay, you're being overcritical of this human. No, I'm, I'm critically looking at this and saying I really do believe that this guy found out something about her recently. And that's why he took the social media. I'm not saying this right, but I want people to understand this. You have females out there who will hop from one lap to another if they feel like it benefits them. If you're not showing them enough attention, if you're not dropping enough bags. The reason why she said that he doesn't pay for anything for her is because I think he refused to give her money. I think he refused to pay her bills. And I think she grew frustrated. And I think she grew frustrated to the point to where she felt like she had to go to somebody else who was willing to take care of her, who was willing to give her money. And just because he didn't do it does not mean that other men haven't done it before him and that other other men aren't doing it now.